What's up, you guys? So I'm back with another reaction from a female pastor. And I know a lot of you guys were really like shocked with my last reaction. And you said that I was not being feminist. So a couple of you did say that. I did block you. Because <laughs> uh, this is my channel. Not to be funny. But I'm going to give my reaction on Benita Okeke. Sermon about women. And... Uh, if you would like to watch, stay tuned. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Kay and Kim and this is Kay and Kim TV where we do a bunch of shenanigans. Yes, really. So like, comment, subscribe and don't forget to share because we're growing on this channel and you're making that happen. What's up, you guys? So this is another reaction from a female pastor. Yes, yes, yes. I know I did mess up uh, Funky, Funky last um, video. I will link that down below. But I think I will do a lot of these videos and react to these female pastors or just pastors in general because I love relationships and I love how people stances from a relationship but <laughs> I make sure that I give my opinion and stay within my grounds so this female pastor her name is Benita Okeke ah, I, I think I pronounced her name right but her name is Benita Okeke and I saw this video um a friend of mine sent it to me and she wanted me to react to it because she knows my opinion is like <laughs> here and there because uh, I'm crazy <laughs> so I will react to it so here goes the video and then I'll give my uh, opinion if you are sitting down with your husband in a meeting like your husband and they're asking questions woman shut up keep quiet if I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm going to be harsh today, but I love you guys so much. Hallelujah. If a man and a woman, like me and my husband, are, 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 maybe we're having a meeting. I don't talk. Even if I have something to say, I don't talk. I'll tell him ahead of time before I come. You don't have any business talking. It is when, also the Bible says that, woman, keep quiet in the church. If you have a question, go and do what? Go and ask your husband. It's not saying that because the people, the, the women at Corinth, love to talk, they love to talk too much. So it's instead of distorting whatever they are doing in the church, go back home. And, and because that time, the questions they were asking were, were bringing problems. So, it's either she was talking too much and she wasn't discipled well. So, he was in the garden. Adam was there. Eve was there. And the serpent spoke to the woman. Why was he speaking to the woman? Because Satan hates authority. Satan hates to go through the gate of authority. He hates authority so much. There is one thing that Satan loves. He loves to distort the order that God has put in place. Be it order in marriage, be it order in whatever. So long as God has put an order, the Bible says the head of the man is the woman. What Satan does is to try to distort every order, everything that God has put in place. He tries to distort it. So that's the reason why he spoke to the woman. Because if you want to speak to somebody, the person you should have spoken to is the man because he's the one that has the authority. Why speak to a woman? In fact, was if there when, Jesus, when God gave them the command, when God gave him the command? He was not, in fact, she was not even formed yet. So he spoke to the serpent. Next verse. It says, and the serpent said to the, the and the woman said to the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. Next verse. But of the fruit of the tree, which is in the garden, God has said, you shall not eat it, nor shall you touch it. Excuse me. Did God tell them not to touch it? Eh? Did God tell them not to touch it? Uh, increase, decrease, increase. Did God tell them not to touch it? God didn't tell them not to touch it. God says in that, actually Genesis 2.18, it says, do not eat of this fruit. Where did Eve see touch? That's where the problem was. So if either Adam didn't disciple his wife well, or the wife likes to talk too much, you know that's what women like to do. The one they added, the one they did not add, you put it. So maybe one day, you see that I'm, I'm thinking Adam told the wife that God said she should not touch it. So maybe one day when Eve was moving in the garden, she saw the tree, the tree of good and evil. Maybe her hand mistakenly touched it. She said I should not die. You understand? She now said, okay, since I didn't die by touching, is it by eating I will die? Do you understand? Or maybe during the conversation she had with the devil, as she was doing whatever they were doing, she touched it, whatever, whatever. But you see the danger of adding what God did not add. God said you should not eat. He said you should not eat and you should not touch. So at this point, Eve was going away from authority. You have no business talking to the serpent. You have no business. It was God. It was God and Adam. You have no business talking to the serpent. Okay, people. Listen. Listen, listen. First, I somewhat agree with her. And let me tell you why. 
I somehow regret her because I'm going to say two. You know, I give these little stories and scenarios of what happened to a friend of mine or what happened to me and my husband. But let me explain, let me explain this. I do think sometimes women should be quiet. But not for the reason you do think. If we can't bring anything to the table, and I, when I mean anything, anything productive, anything positive, anything that will addition that, you know, your husband or mate may not know, and you know what your husband or mate know. Let's just be clear on that. If we can't bring that to the table, then no, we should stay quiet and listen because God wants not just women people in general to be listeners and let's just take spirituality out there i know i paid the spiritual part for you guys to hear when she talked about adam and eve but that means nothing to me when it comes to a relationship sometimes we will put our own feelings and emotions in a conversation and state how we feel and not pay attention to everything that's going wrong so we won't slip up and as women i don't want us to slip up i want us to pay attention to what we're saying so let's be listeners first and react second. But being quiet all together. <laughs> okay, so I don't think a woman should be quiet all together. And mainly because there are two people in this relationship. What you may not see, the other partner may see. I'm going to give this example. When my friend and her husband was going to purchase something major. Her husband was about to sign when the man was talking and he said something that they didn't agree on. And my friend caught it in time and heard this man say this before she said, hey babe, before you sign, I'm sorry, can you explain to me this? When it all came down to it, and I'm just gonna be real with y'all, her listening and then asking questions was able to save them quite a few thousand dollars on the purchase. Because the guy added on so much extensions that they didn't agree on those extensions. So when you hear something that you may not understand or you, you I, I'm going to say, hey, babe, explain this to me. Hey, can you can you help me out? And if she didn't caught it, it would have been the difference of almost eight thousand dollars. Do you understand the concept that when you're on the pulpit, this woman is on the pulpit telling women to be quiet in church and she's on the pulpit saying this. Does that make sense? I'm not talking about the foolish women. No, that has nothing to say. That's always complaining. I'm talking about the ones that have revelation. The ones that can hear and say and state their opinions. Because what she's saying is we should just be quiet, meek and mild. And that's not me. I'm not very demure. Or no, ma'am. <laughs> no, no. Not at times. Because it's it, even in the process that we're going through, it's certain things that I know that my husband doesn't know. Because one, he was not raised in America. And two, he was not exposed to the things that we're exposed to now. Especially when it comes to business in America. So I'm listening to make sure we get the best deals. Now I don't have to talk. But I want clarity and I want my husband to know, hey, at the end of the day, this is what we're going through. This is what's going to happen. But to be quiet altogether does not make sense. I have another example. I have another example. My friend and her husband was making another purchase, a major purchase. And because her husband was ready to jump and go. And she said, no, let's wait. And they were able to not get into a bad situation that could have been worse. Because she told her husband, I know you're ready for this. I know you want to jump in. I know this is what you want. I know this is at the time that you want it. But again, we can wait. It's not that serious. Don't let us jump into something that's going to be even worse than what we are in now. And they end up being blessed with the next situation. 
So when she's telling women be quiet, it doesn't make sense to me. It really doesn't. Especially if your quietness can cause your family harm. Now I'm not saying don't talk. And I'm not saying talk. But if you have something that's critical to your relationship, your marriage, and your family, then by all means, speak or forever hold your peace. But to be quiet in general and just sit there meek and mild? No, ma'am. It's at times when me and my husband is sitting there in front of people and I have questions and I say, hey, can I ask this question? And I know my husband used to hate that because he's Nigerian. He hated that. He hated that I wanted to know something. But in the process, he's learned that if I'm asking a question that he didn't think of, it will benefit the family. And he learns now that if I'm asking a question, especially when we're in a situation where it's the both of us signing on something, it's the both of us carrying something, it's the both of us getting involved in something, I'm going to ask these questions. Because I'm liable too. Gone are the days of women is walking into relationships blindly. The growth for women in business is long and strong. Obviously, we know a little something. I might not have all the answers, but I'm not going to let my husband fall in a situation where he can't get out of. Because relationships should never be one person is the head. He leads, yes. But if I know something, why would I hold it against our relationship? Why would I let my husband suffer because I want the man, I want him to be a man? No, he's a man already. He was born with a penis. <laughs> Not to be funny. I know y'all, I know. Wait, I'm sorry. But still, it's the same thing. He knows already. It's certain things that he, we all got to learn and we can't learn them by not asking. And you might not have that question, but if that question makes sense in the root of things, then yes, I'm going to ask a question at a business meeting that me and my husband attend. Especially if it's valid and it's going to cost us. I'm not going to sit next to him meek and mild. Even though we discuss it, I want to make sure we got both clarity because at the end of the day, me not saying something might cause more confusion and more harm to our relationship than me letting him be, quote unquote, the head, the, the honcho. The, no. It was a ton of situations that me and my husband discussed beforehand. And then when we came to the table, especially when the purchase of cars, the, 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 the purchase is uh, divesting in businesses. It's stuff like that, that when we ask some questions, that my husband will be like, I didn't even think about that. Marriage is a woman and a man. It's a teamwork. If you're going to be quiet, at a critical point in y'all relationship, especially when it comes to dealing with business, then you're with the wrong person. Because you could save your husband headache and heartache if you just ask one question. And I don't mean, because a, a, a lot of women be like, oh, there's a stupid question. Yes, they are. I do. I believe that. There are stupid questions. There are stupid questions. But I'm educated. So if I'm listening to something you say, the question that I'm going to ask is definitely going to be pertained to something that triggered me. I'm not saying ask for cereal in the middle of the meeting. Hey, babe, can I get some cereal? Oh, do you like Fruity Pebbles? No. I'm going to ask something that did not register to my husband at the time when we're in that business meeting. Because I know my husband. That's when you know your partner. Other than that, I'm going to let him be the man and take over and do things. Yes. Because again, he is the head of the household. But when it comes to knowledge and wisdom and understanding... It's certain things that your husband may or may not understand. 
So why would I let my husband walk into the den of wolves and not protect his back? She she's the she's in a church. She's a head. She she she's prophetess. She's bishop. She's this she that. And she's telling women not to say anything. So by right, she should have set herself down. Because again, women, isn't she a part of a woman? Our group? Sometimes they say stuff that's sensationalized and it makes sense to them. But you are an authority in church telling me that I should sit down when you're standing up on stage. When you look at it like that, does that make sense? Does that make sense? And I'm not saying, and again, I, I have nothing against uh, Benita. Okay, okay. okay. I have nothing against her. But as a woman, I would not be doing my due diligence if I let my husband suffer because somebody told me I should stay quiet. Especially when it can hinder the family. The whole point of being in a marriage is be a helpmate. God didn't say oh, a helpmate only clean the house. God didn't say, because we going biblical now, I'm going to take you biblical. God didn't say a helpmate is, to, is take care of the kids and cook. What if you don't have no kids? What you going to do, sit home and take care of the dog? You mean to tell me we work hard, we have investments, we put our money to the side together because there is, I don't, I don't, other than a trade wife, most relationships have two income. So my income going towards investment, your income going towards investment, and I'm supposed to just sit there and be quiet. That don't make no sense. That doesn't make any sense. Especially if what I say is valid. Because you have to always remember that some things you're going to say is not valid. But if you take the time out and think out your question and understand what's going on and you really do understand, then yes, yeah, speak up, speak out. My husband didn't marry me because I was stupid. He saw that I gave conversations. We talked about investments. We talked about a future. We talked about building a house. We talked about what we want for our kids. We talked about all of that. And just because he wears the pants and, it, and that, that I even hate that saying. Just because he is a man doesn't mean that I should let him make mistakes. And I'm not saying my husband makes mistakes. I'm not saying every husband makes mistakes. But I'm saying is, if you know something, why would you want your husband to trip and fall? Because he's a man. You learn from each other in a marriage. Because marriage is a school. that You get the certificate before you even start to go. That's why some of these women that say that, some of it is relevant. Yes, I do believe women should talk less. Because sometimes you confuse the situation. Me included. But I do feel that in some cases, my husband knows what I have to say is valid. So he would listen to what I have to say. Because it's valid. So those are my thoughts. If you feel the way I feel, leave your opinion down in the comments below. And I will get back to you. I know y'all saying I'm answering my comments more often. I know y'all saying that. I'm very proud of myself. I've been doing this for to a lot of days now. I, I can't even count. But I have gone 
days and with videos and recording and I'm so proud of myself. Thank you guys for coming to my channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting me. I truly believe that this channel is growing in leaps and bounds and you are the reason. So I'm thanking you. So like, comment, subscribe, and please share like you're doing because you're the reason why we're growing and we appreciate it. Have a good day.